Our judges have completed their placings in the Jersey Senior Two-Year-Old Class. We would first like to recognize our Junior Award winners. Placing second junior entry 1092, Lookout Gunning for Fame, exhibited by Corey Foster, Elizabeth Sutton, and Haley Foster of Cleveland, North Carolina. Our winning juniors entry 1094, Fire Lake Premier Meg, exhibited by Joshua, Hannah, Nicole, and Rebecca Sanders of Hillmar, California. Our production award winner in this class is entry 1109, Zanubi Ms. American Pie Rendition, exhibited by Shane Robison of Perkins, Oklahoma. The Bread and Owned Award winner is entry 1095, Ratliff Indiana Cadence, exhibited by Ron and Christy Ratliff Trustees, Garnet, Kansas. Placing third in the class and also best utter, 1105, Stony Point Grand B, exhibited by Sybil Fisher, Jake Hanford, and Avonlea Genetics, Brighton, Ontario. Second in the class is entry 1097, Rolling River Press Release, exhibited by Adam Fraley, Daniel and Patty Kitchen, and Eddie Serkak of Kenton de Hatley, Quebec. And the winning entry is entry 1101, Jasmari Verb Lil Verona, exhibited by Michael Heath and Crossbrook Jerseys of Middleburg, New York. Congratulations. Judge your comments. And another beautiful class out here in the senior two-year-olds. A pair of cows that comes to the top where I give the winning cow that advantage. She's got a little bit more width up to the front end. She's got more width than the chest floor and just a little bit more width all the way throughout. Then when you get to analyzing the mammary system, I prefer the way she's a little bit leveler on the floor of the udder. And then when you get these two cows side by side, she's higher and wider right in the top of that rear udder. Take nothing away from this other extreme style cow coming second. You just love the ring presence to her, the head and neck. She's so pretty on the move, hard topped and just moving on a great set of feet and legs. And it's the way she's made through the rump structure, the way her thurls are in the right place, the way she moves on the feet and legs to get her over to the extreme dairy cow with the beautiful udder coming here in third. The third cow would be your best udder cow, second caver. You just love the mammary system. She's so high, so wide in the rear udder, goes right to the top, the way she has great quality, the way the seam runs deep. But like I said, I just like to change the way her thurls are in her legs to get her up any higher in the class. But it's the mammary system that gets her over the cow coming here in fourth. It's just a little bit higher and wider right in the top. I just like the length, the levelness to the floor. The fourth over fifth, she's just a little bit more extreme in the dairy. She's flatter in her thighs. She's cleaner. Take nothing away from this cow here in fifth. The fifth cow, you just love this cow in the move. She's got so much depth and width and mass to the rib section. And it's that depth and width up through her front end that goes over this another real balanced cow coming here in six. Six over seven where I give her advantage. She just kept her seam a little bit deeper today. It just carries a little bit higher over that extreme style heifer coming there in seventh. Congratulations to all these breeders and exhibitors on an exceptional group of senior twos.